Hey everyone, so this video is about the book Think Like a Freak, written by Stephen D. Levitt, who is a professor of economics at the University of Chicago. And in this video, I'm going to share with you four things that he talks about in the book. Now, the very first thing is the power of incentives. Now, he basically talks about whenever you're trying to convince someone or persuade someone of doing something or something that you want them to do, then use the power of incentives incentives and he doesn't say that you should use just money there are other types of incentives he talks about social incentives and moral incentives along with monetary incentives so don't just say oh I'm gonna give you a lot of cash to do this I mean yeah that will kind of incentivize them but he's saying that that's not the only type of incentive out there so think of other incentives that will get people to do what it is that you want them to do so number one is the power of incentives number two is that talent is overrated so talent is overrated and that basically means that in his studies he's saying that talent alone isn't what brings you to the top it's actually hard work and the enjoyment of whatever it is that they're doing so hard work well we all understand what hard work is and well Enjoyments. He basically says that those who are at the top, the reason why they're up there is because they enjoyed what they did or what they're doing. And he's saying that, you know, despite all of the challenges that they overcame, that they had, they were able, able to overcome them because they enjoyed what they were doing. So they didn't think, oh, you know what, I, I'm not going to do this because I don't like it. But it's Rather, they said, I, I enjoy this, and despite this challenge, I'm just going to find a way to overcome it. And so he was saying that hard work and enjoyment combined together is what brought these people to become successful. So that's number two. The third thing is that barriers are artificial. So that basically means that in our life, we're always going to have challenges or challenges that we think are uh, real challenges. And, and what he was saying is that you know, we we are limiting our beliefs to what we can achieve. And he brings up the example of Roger Bannister, who uh, who was the first person to run one mile under four minutes. And it, it, before him, no one was able to run a four minute mile. And so he was saying that Roger Bannister, he he, he didn't believe that no one could do it. He said, I could do it. And he visualized and, and he basically set out to achieving that goal and then after him a lot of other people ran the four minute mile and it's not because they were faster or that they you know times have changed and, and that they they had all this other thing that to give them that boost no it wasn't because of that it's because he was he set that goal and he set that standard higher and so that that's what kind of opened up their minds to say okay you know what it, this is possible if he can do it I can do it and so basically your barriers a lot of them are just in your imagination you you think that you have these barriers but really they're they're not really out there it's just all in your mindset and in your imagination so number three is that you barriers are just an imagination and the last one is to think outside the box. So he talks about when a lot of problems or when you have these problems, a lot of the times that you, when you feel stuck or you feel like, oh, I can't solve it, he says to think outside the box. I know it's uh, kind of cliche, but he says you got to think outside the box. When you're inside the box, it's hard to really solve that problem. But once you're outside the box then it becomes easier to kind of uh, fix or to solve whatever it is that you're trying to solve and he's saying that there's a lot of problems out there where we think oh this is the solution but in fact that's actually a symptom of the problem and we're just addressing the symptom so when he says think outside the box think outside as to why this is the problem what's the root cause of that problem as opposed to trying to fix the symptoms and you know if you're just fixing the symptoms the problem will always recur okay well anyways i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up uh please check out my website at www.bookstakeaway.com for other books that i've reviewed and yeah if you're interested in the book there's a link down below and yeah also subscribe to my channel if you want future videos uh, or notifications of my future videos uh, sent to you. And yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you again in the next video.
bye for now.